604 now, and the FDA is set to fully approve the Pfizer vaccine. Now, we've been waiting for this for a while. It's been more than eight months since people started getting vaccinated against COVID. It has emergency approval right now, but according to multiple reports, that full approval could come as soon as today. The New York Times reports regulators were trying to complete the process by Friday, but they were working through a lot of paperwork. A study from the Kaiser Family Foundation earlier this summer found 30% of adults said full approval would make them more likely to get vaccinated. The U.S. Surgeon General says Pfizer is likely to be approved because of the amount of data and real-world experience in their corner. It's actually unusual for uh, an application for full approval to be submitted with this much experience, with hundreds of millions of people having received the doses. And there are two things that we've learned during that time. One is that the vaccines are remarkably effective in keeping people out of the hospital and saving lives. And the other is that their safety profile remains remarkably strong. Now, Pfizer would be the first of the available vaccines to move from emergency use authorization to this full FDA approval. So we want to take a closer look at how regulators decide to make that change. First, let's review what emergency use authorization means. It's basically a shortcut for a crisis. An EUA can be given if there are no adequate or approved alternatives to diagnose, treat, or prevent serious or life-threatening diseases or conditions. So something can get an EUA if the potential benefits outweigh any potential risks, according to Norton Healthcare. The biggest difference between emergency approval and full approval is the amount of data a company has to present to the FDA. In emergencies, they only need to provide about three months worth of data with thousands of study participants. For full approval, they need at least six solid months of data to apply. Part of that is to see if there may be rare adverse events related to the vaccine down the road. Efficacy requirements are the same for emergency or full approval, but data isn't the only thing the FDA looks at when considering full approval of a COVID vaccine. Norton Healthcare says FDA officials have also been inspecting manufacturing facilities to make sure the vaccine can be produced safely and reliably. After a vaccine is fully approved, companies can start advertising it. It also means the product can stay on the market after the pandemic is no longer considered an emergency. Law and public health experts expect more businesses and institutions to require employees to be vaccinated after full approval is granted. It's also expected to boost public trust. 